So I'm gonna make a round bottom stuff sack for my bush buddy. And uh, we're gonna be using the metric system and we're gonna be doing math. Probably two things most people don't love. However, um, it's just gonna be easier if we do it that way. So get yourself a, a metric ruler, some uh, whether it be straight or one of these flexi kind or whatever, but uh, they're easy enough to come by. And first off, we're going to measure the height of the bush buddy. And that's coming in at about 10, just under 10. I'm going to just round it up to 10. And to that 10, I'm going to say, in order for the bag to be able to close, uh, we got to be at least get halfway across it, I would imagine. Um, this is a little bit of a swag, you know, I'm not... I'm not crazy about doing math in the first place, so I'm going to at least make it too big and ideally not too small. So anyway, again, we're going to choose 16 centimeters as hopefully our final height. Uh, we need to add our seam allowance to that, and uh, throughout this project I'll be using a 1 centimeter seam allowance. So to sew the bottom onto the bag, we'll add 1 seam allowance, 1 centimeter. And then to make the rolled top sort of drawstring channel area, that requires, for the way I do it, uh, or for the way I'll be doing it on this, that requires three centimeters of additional fabric. So uh, that's going to come out to a total of 20 centimeters tall is how tall we're going to make this thing. Next thing we want to know is how big a round to make it. And... It's about 34 centimeters around, close enough. Uh, however, what we don't want is to not be able to get it inside of there. So we're gonna give it a little wiggle room and call it 36 centimeters. That should give us enough to get inside, hopefully. And to that, we need to add two additional centimeters just for the seam allowance so we can sew the thing together. So, I'm going to take my piece of uh, scrap. Where is it at? This guy here. It's just some scrap sill nylon I've, had, I've got. And I'm going to cut a rectangle out of it that is 20 tall by 38 wide. Another point is we don't want to make the circle just yet. Uh, you'll see in a bit, but all we're, all we're focused on right now is the body of the bag not the bottom. So here's the body of the bag uh, laid out. 20 tall, 38 wide. And what we're going to do is fold it, <clears throat> fold it over and we're going to start out by sewing two centimeters down this edge. We're going to skip a space of two centimeters and then sew the rest of the way down. This is, and my seam allowance is one centimeter. So one centimeter over, we're going to sew down two centimeters, skip two centimeters, <clears throat> and then down the rest of the way. That two centimeter skip is where the opening is going to be for the drawstring channel to come out. All right, so <clears throat> now you see two centimeters, skip two centimeters, the rest of the way down and what we're going to do is we're going to make a cut right here into the seam allowance at the lower edge of the gap there and we're going to fold that open let me just do that I'll snip it with these guys do not cut the threads just get near them and what we're going to do now is we're going to spread this apart and sew it down. And what you're going to do is start at one side, sew that down and come to a point below it, and then sew back up the other side. Do a back tack at each end of that. And <clears throat> what that's going to form is the hole in it for your drawstring. And then this end is going to make ultimately the rolled hem and that opening will end up right in the middle of the rolled 
of the drawstring channel rolled hem thing. Now you can see, oh, it's worth noting that while sewing this, what you don't want to do is sew it to the back side of the bag. Uh, make sure you fold this down out of the way and just sew through, <laughs> through one side of the bag. Um, so you can see it starts up here, comes down, and goes back up. And here's the gap in the drawstring channel. So that is <clears throat> that is that. Um, next thing we're going to do is to make the drawstring channel. We're going to measure down two centimeters and make a mark. Yeah. And then also five centimeters in and make another mark. And uh, we'll do that throughout around the whole bag. <clears throat> because what we're going to do is make a fold. It's always easier to make a fold to line than a fold on line. So I'm going to fold to the two millimeter line and put a good, I'll probably just put a finger crease in it. And then I'm going to fold to the five centimeter line <clears throat> and get a good finger press on that. <clears throat> And actually, once you've got that sort of already sorted out, you want to turn the bag inside out, or excuse me, right side out, and it, and so around that, on this lower inside of hem. So you're going through three layers of fabric right there. You're you're just encapsulating the raw edge, and you're going to sew in around that. You know, eighth inch from the edge, or just just off the edge. Okay, as you can see now, we've got the body of the bag complete. Um, the hem of the drawstring channel is actually is inside the bag so when you were sewing it you would have been sewing it around like that and the apex of the opening is at the top of the drawstring channel and when we're all done we'll fish a string through there to make that good uh, but now is when we start the math portion of this project the real math what we want to do is find the width of the bag and we're going to make a our circular bottom we're going to make for the bag we have not the bag we theoretically thought we were going to have. Uh, this is close enough to 18 centimeters wide so what we're going to do is Take the 18 centimeters, we're going to divide that by pi, 3.14, and that equals 5.7. Uh, I'm not interested in three, 3 millimeter difference, so I'm just going to call it 6. That's the radius of our circle. Next thing we want to do is add 1 centimeter to that, and that's so that's going to be 7 centimeters is where we're going to make the our circle you know the radius of our circle is going to be seven centimeters so what I've done is taken the remainder of my piece of scrap and I just folded it into fours and quarters or whatever so so that I end up with four layers thick um, oops. And I'm gonna pin this guy down so it doesn't move around on me hence the piece of wood it's hard. And all I'm going to do is have a, a loop tied in your string. Um, you don't want to tie it to the pencil or anything like that. Just put the, the tip of the pencil at the end of the loop and we're going to swing an arc like that. Uh, we're just going to make it just less than seven. Yeah, we'll call it just less than seven. So, uh, I'll take this, hold it on my mark, hold that at the apex of the uh, fold there, and just swing an arc like that. And then we're going to cut that out. A 
and there's our circle should be fit just to our bag um, what we're going to do to sew this onto the bag is basically turn the bag back inside out so your seams all end up on the inside in the end um, we're going to place this into the sewing machine or put the circle in and what you want to do is as you feed this through the machine you feed the bag straight and you just spin the circle to meet the edge so this the circle here is going to be coming up and you're just going to feed that and th this is going to go straight and the circle is just going to spin around and you're going to be sewing at your one centimeter end mark and uh, which you can mark it if you want I just use the edge on the sewing machine the footbed there and in a perfect world you'll end up right where you started and it'll fit uh, you might end up with a pucker if it's a little big here or there nobody's going to notice a pucker in the bottom all right so um, there it is I've, I've already turned it inside out or right side out I've got a reasonably large pucker right there where I had to make up some of the, you know, I have a little extra fabric, but uh, it certainly doesn't bother me and it certainly doesn't affect the, uh, the way it works. And then just to give it a test fit, in the perfect world, this thing will actually fit inside of it. There, looks like it's got enough to close. So I'll just add a drawstring channel, I'll, I'll add my drawstring to that. What I do is I take a piece of safety wire. Um, it's what I use for splicing. It's, this is probably 25,000 stainless steel wire. And uh, I just feed it in to the loop. Push it around. Get it all the way in there. Not the rest away, and uh, I'm just gonna use a piece of mason twine because I've I've got some. I'll just put this in here. Pull it through. Since you're up and golden. That thing came out like it was made for it. So that's it, you know, cord lock, whatever on there to keep that guy shut. And uh, there's your round bottom stuff sack. Just apply the principles. You don't, you know, you can make them any size. I would imagine that the drawstring channel information would work. Doesn't matter how big or small your bag is, that ought to be enough drawstring for just about anything so that's it that's the uh, round bottom stuff sack in a nutshell